smells like blood and death. I wonder what I've stumbled upon. Huh. Seems someone's been digging rather hastily. Something isn't right here. He was... killed. Quite mercilessly by a young companion. A trader. The young man wanted to seize his business. Whelp, where you hiding, daddy's boy? Where you hiding? The spirit notices his eviscerated corpse, caked in dirt and laced with maggots, and lets out a spine-curling howl. He eyes the heap piled with his rotting hands, eyes, heart. An iridescent tear rolls down his cheek. His voice rumbles in his throat. They were mine! Snake called round a pile of filth, puddle of sick dog's piss. My apprentice! I loved him as my own. Spoiled, irreverent, arrogant, treacherous, pustule. I loved him as my own. I want his head in my hands. I want his head in the dirt, sticky with worms, picked at the bones by buzzards. Bring it to me, bring it to me, head of the dog, Garvin, Garvin! Spoiled like green milk, like a stinking egg. His hands were bigger than his head. He wanted and wanted, but didn't know enough. Never enough. He'll got the business. Same as he did me. Rat. Pig. Dog. Find him. Feel his heart. Squeeze it dry. Squeeze it dead. Bring the head. Bring the head! Stop fearing of me, show Who gains the title most divine? We wait. What is it? We wonder and wonder. Ah, oh, my poor mentor. Lost to the wilds, I regret to inform you. Take it from me. Avoid the open country around here. The void woken are not to be trifled with. He looks at you with his brow knitted, lips pursed, pain painted mask like upon his face. What a loathsome thing to say to one mourning the loss of his finest friend and mentor. Good day. Very good. Now, if there's nothing else... Occupied! Oh, unholy hells! How about a little... Oh, damn privacy! That's what I get. Bloody tainted stew! Makes a little... No! Oh, fish into some of my stew! Bloody mackerel must have been tainted! Save me, Lucian! What was in that blasted stew? What was in that blasted stew? What is it? Always. I haven't forgotten what I've heard about the chef's mastery of the pot and cleaver. I'm simply waiting to have it proven to me. Mm, it smells truly divine and different somehow. Perhaps a special mixture from the house? Garvin tastes the stew, then begins spooning it into his mouth. He sighs with pleasure. His eyes go wide. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh. Something isn't right. I need to go move. I don't I don't feel so well. A valiant one of my stomach. Be grateful that you don't feel the need.
grateful that you don't feel I'll the need. I'll stay out of there, thanks. Dire... Oh, mistake. Where is his head? Where is his heart? Speak! Dead! Rot, take him! Buzzards use him for a latrine! His head! I want to look into his eyes! My boy is dead! My... my boy is dead! The snake! He takes the head in his hands and gazes into its lifeless eyes. He tenderly strokes Garvin's head and a sad smile crosses his lips. May maggots bugger you for all time, my dear boy. But you! I have nothing left to offer you! Someone took the last of my things, my, my, my good things! I feel the pull of the hall. It's my time at last. Gods, I hope I'll meet my boy again. Maybe I'll get to look him in the eye when I take his head from him again and again and again. <laughs> 